Welcome friends from our homestead to our new this week's video. In this week's video I like to explain you why we collect bullshit from our neighbor's pasture and what we built here. But first of all I'd like to say thank you to James, he spent us a truckload of fence posts. That should be enough for our this year's project. This week I started a project that has been in my head for a long time. I like the idea to turn waste into energy. And we really don't want to waste anything. In the future maybe we turn our kitchen waste and the waste from our greenhouses into biogas. It took a long time for me to find all the material I need to build a biogas digester. Now I have mostly everything together and we can start to build one. If you like to see the full video how we build our biogas digester, follow us on our channel, it's coming soon.
I started with a 5 gallon bucket that I use at the fill-in funnel. Then I turned the IBC tank uh, international bulk container into a biogas digester. I try to use only material that is simple to find. A lot of parts you can buy in a local hardware store. A lot of people are using uni seals for that, but I don't trust them, so I like the idea to put flanges in better, and I used regular toilet bowls flanges for that. That's the inlet pipe, and what you see here, that's the outlet pipe for the fertilizer water. The inlet is 4 inch, the outlet is 2 inch and it's made out of an ABS pipe. Normal the IBC tanks have a very small uh, main opening on the top. I like that opening bigger so I cut a piece of a little barrel off and weld it back together into that big IBC tank. With a plastic welding machine. I tacked it first and then I start to weld it. I put three welding layers on it because I want to be absolutely sure it's absolutely tight. There should be something where the gas can come out of the digester, so that's what these parts are for. A little standard Teflon tape. Hose connector, elbow, couple fittings and finish is the gas outlet. And don't forget the rubber gaskets and the O-rings.
snap ring on and then it's done. And that's the digester, how it should look like after it's finished. It does not look only simple, it is simple. To start the process to turning waste into biogas, you need bacteria and that bacteria and enzymes are located in regular cow dung. So cow dung makes it easier to start the system only thing you have to do you have to collect some cow dung, mix it with water leave it for a week and put it in the biogas digester and then fill it with waste and water And that's the reason why we collect cow dung or bullshit on our neighbor's pasture. The only reason. Another project this week was building a new feeder for the pigs because I don't want to look every time when I feed them where that feeder tray is so I tried to build one. With leftover parts from the project before. I like to feed the pigs from outside the pen, so I don't want to go inside and try to find that rubber pants that they always kick around and move around, so it should be something pretty heavy and easy to use.
One more thing to do, only fill the mold with concrete and after it's dry, it's a super heavy duty, unmovable and undestroyable concrete pig feeder. If you like that idea, it would be nice if you leave a thumb up for us. And if you like to know what else we build out of concrete, I put the link for you in the description down below. And look how it works. Is it not nice? If you have not already done it, it's the time right now to subscribe for our YouTube channel if you like to know how far we came with our biogas digester project. Follow us next week and we also like to show you what you should not do if you like to build a poultry drinker out of a 55 gallon plastic drum. And how we solve that problem. Thanks guys for watching this video and we see us next week. And don't forget to subscribe for our channel.